Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can switch the view of your inbox to better organize your email. If you wish to change the view, first select the Inbox folder. And if using Outlook 2003, select View from the menu bar, go to Arrange By, go down to Current View, and then select the menu that you would like to use from the side menu. And that then changes the view of the inbox. Also note that you can select to define your own custom view by selecting View, Arrange By, Current View, and then choosing the Define Views command from the list of views to bring up the Custom View Organizer. This is exactly like the Custom View Organizer that we use to customize our Contacts folder. So once again, if you wanted to create your own new view, you could click the New button at the right and give your view a name. You can select the type of view that you would like. Usually table is the one that we would use for our email. And then you select who can access it. Just this folder visible to everyone, this folder visible only to you, or all mail and post folders. So you would make your selection and click OK. And that brings up the Customize View dialog box. You can click Fields to decide what fields should be shown in the view. You can select any field and click Add to add it to your particular view. And then click the field you'd like to organize and click Move Up and Move Down to put it in the desired position. If there's a field you did not want, you could click on it and click Remove to remove it from your view. When you've decided which field you'd like to see, simply click OK. You can also click Group By to apply grouping to the view. So for example, if you deselected automatically group according to arrangement, you could group by who it was from. And then choose ascending or descending order. You could even create subgroupings of that if desired, up to four. And then you would click OK. You can also choose a sort order. So within the groups, how should it be sorted? Here let's say we wanted to sort it by received still in descending order, which should put the newest mail at top. We would click OK. Note that you can sort by up to four fields. Filter would restrict or allow only particular types of messages to be displayed. So for example, if you only wanted to see in a custom view messages from a particular person, you could click the From button and then select from whom in your contacts list you would like to see the mail messages from. Also you can click other settings to access other settings such as the font used to display the columns, the font for the rows, the grid line options. Should it have a reading pane and if so where should it be? And when you've set any other settings for the view, you could click OK. We also can apply automatic formatting, which are rules that change how email looks. So you could apply a condition, and if the email ma message matches that condition, it'll use the selected font to display it. And that's why, for example, unread messages are always in an 8-point bold. You can also choose Format Columns to display how each column should look. And you can choose things like the alignment of information in the column, the label used for the column, and whenever you've decided your settings, just click OK. Once you've finished customizing your view, click OK again. And you can see now you have your view. You could click Apply View to then apply that view.
If you need to delete your view, you can go back to View, Arrange By, Current View, and then Define Views again. You can select your views that you've created and click Delete to the right if you no longer need them. Also, if you've modified any of the preset views, you can always click Reset to the right to reset changes that you've made to the default views, and then click Apply View again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.